Over in Washington, Republicans celebrate their first major legislative victory of the year, the most sweeping rewrite of the U.S. tax bill in this century. While corporate taxes on a downward trend for other major countries, South Korea is raising its income tax rates for the upcoming year. Cha Sang-mi takes a closer look into the implications of the contrasting trend. U.S. President Trump enjoyed his first major legislative win on Wednesday after a year of GOP infighting and political stumbles. The most extensive tax reform since 1986 has passed through Congress and now heads to Trump's desk to be signed into law on January 3rd next year. The changes would cut federal revenue by almost one and a half trillion U.S. dollars over the coming decade, but Republicans claim it will boost economic growth and create jobs. We are going to bring at least $4 trillion back into this country, money that was frozen overseas and in parts and worlds, and some of them don't even like us. The bill cuts the corporate tax rate to 21 percent from the current 35 percent. With Trump's win on the tax code rewrite, a downward trend in global corporate tax rates is expected. Some major countries are already jumping on the tax reduction bandwagon. Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe had already decided to cut corporation tax to below 30 percent and is in the process of cutting the effective tax rate to around 35 percent. French President Emmanuel Macron has announced steep cuts in corporation tax, reducing it to 25 percent by 2022 from its current level of 33 percent. While other OECD member nations are busy cutting corporation tax, Korea seems to be going in the other direction. On December 5th, Korean lawmakers agreed to raise the income tax rate for some of the country's highest earning companies to 25 percent from the current 22 percent. Cha Sang-mi, Arirang News.